Have you ever tried to make a game with a looping sound effect, but then it sounds like this? You can clearly hear, you can clearly see that there is like a tiny gap before the next thing plays, or just like in here. There's always that like tiny gap that kind of ruins the whole atmosphere of the song or music. So here I found a way on how to like fix this by instead of using a play sound until done, we just use a start sound effect. But then if we just leave it like this, it would just sound like that. that this is because it's basically just playing the rain over and over again without any stop timers like it's kind of like a glitch effect so what we do here first i'm going to play the rain sound effect and then add in a wait timer so in this wait timer we will go to the sound to the sound editor and see how many seconds does the rain play in here? It says it plays for 1.98 seconds. So I'm going to put here 1.98. And then if we play it, you'll still hear that gap. Now, how we fix this is we have to deduct it by a few, a few seconds. So I'm just going to make this 1.98 to 1.95. And then... You'll hear almost no gap is in the music. This is because once before this rain effect even ends, it's already going to start playing another one. And those will like connect seamlessly to each other. And if, if it doesn't work, you can just keep subtracting the wait timer to have it even more flawlessly. So it looks like it's just long, but... It's just this one played over and over again, seamlessly tied together. Now, sometimes this may not work. Like, let's say with the crickets, there is like a 2.4 timer or like the crickets, it plays for 2.63. So I'm just going to make it 2.5. You will still hear a gap. Now, if we try to make this like lower, like let's say 2.3, you will still hear it. This is because sometimes if you play the same two sounds together, it will just cancel out the other sound. Like let's say we play the rain sound two times. The first rain sound will be like deleted once the second rain sound is played. So like it's canceling each other. So how I do this, I will just make two different cricket sounds. They're basically the same, but the only difference is in volume so that they're not really, you know, they're not really similar, but, you know, and then I just place here uh, the wait timer again, 2.5 I'm going to put here. And then after this, I'll place the second cricket sound effect. So it sounds like this. Again, there is no more gap. There's no gap. It's like seamlessly flowing through. Or maybe I can like... Wait. Huh. So you just need to duplicate it. And then add it in here. Basically just two lines of code. And then you're already having a flawlessly seeming loop. There we go. That's how you can fix your loop ambience in any, like, if you want to do a horror game, like a VHS glitch. Like, you know, a VHS, like you're going to have a VHS screen and you don't want to download the super long, you can just use this. Just use start rain or start whatever sound effect with a wait timer that is basically just deducted off the seconds that it plays. So yeah, I hope this helps in making uh, future games that have like looping ambience in it and 
see you next time for another tutorial. Okay.